Hey there, my name's Peter Coffin, and, uh, Vosh, right? Yeah? Yeah, uh, wow. So the thing that happened with Vosh is that for years and years, intentionally or not, he has made an argument that has painted, uh, let's just say, very inappropriate content involving children uh, as not so bad by relating it to another thing, which is child labor. On a stream, he accidentally exposed a folder filled with lolly porn, which is uh, anime child porn. It's probably like there are people who like don't call it child porn. And it's like, well, if you're drawing porn with children in it, it's still kind of child porn. I, I mean, is it directly exploiting a human child? No, but like... Now, we'll talk a little bit about why that's wrong, obviously. It would be insane to mention that and, and not. But there's a lot more to talk about here. So I got a documentary coming out on February 24th called Plato is a Bitch, AI and Bomber Guy. Uh, link in the description to that with very important documentaries. Um, that documentary was already being written before H. Bomber Guy made plagiarism in YouTube. And his video fit so well in with the point of that documentary, I made my part two about plagiarism in YouTube. I am also in the process of writing a horseshoe theory documentary. The basic thrust of that one is going to be that horseshoe theory, which we've all been saying is so wrong all these years, including me. I've even, I've even done the, ah, oh, yeah, fish hook theory. That's the right one. Uh, what I've realized is that horseshoe theory is entirely correct if you take uh, the left and the right both as justifying ideologies for capitalism and or class society. The left started with the French Revolution. It was the people who are in the left side of the room in Parliament, the people who supported the bourgeoisie, the um, capitalists. So yeah, we dichotomize political theory by left and right because uh, the guys who basically started capitalism sat on the left side of a room. I actually think that's incredibly stupid, and I am profoundly irritated by the left-right shit at this point in my life. But I think it was always eventually going to come back to this point as long as there was this left and right deviation. Left and right both function, in the way Lenin put it, uh, as deviations. History only moves forward, right? And it doesn't go backwards. Even if it does something from the past, even if it echoes things and goes backwards, um, that is still history moving forward. And conservatism and progressivism are both idealist tendencies which attempt to direct the flow of history. They both have ideas of where things are supposed to land, and they both try to make things land there. They try to manifest the world. That's idealism. It's manifestation. It's the secret. It's stupid. And people often view the left deviation as good because it wants progress. And from a purely aesthetic point of view, yeah, I, I want progress too. And I think everybody does. But I think a good reason to view them as deviations is because rather than keep you on the train track, so to speak, they derail. They push us away from just getting stuff done. And this is where the Vosh shit starts to slide in. So the Red Scare was this period of American history in which any bit of anything that could be construed as possibly communist was demonized and attacked. And the Congress for Cultural Freedom compatible left 1960s hippy dippy bullshit basically responded to the Red Scare by saying, yes, but it's good. You guys are a bunch of communists and that's horrible. Yes, but it's good. Communism is about abolishing the family. Yes but it's good. Communism wants to level all current institutions and bring everything down to nothing and start again. Yes, but it's good. 
See, that stuff isn't actually true of communism. Communism is about progress, building, resolving contradictions that are in the way of making more things. People love calling me a contrarian, but like this is kind of a, like some kind of amazing contrarian point of view where instead of contradicting, you contradict by agreeing. So the reason why Vosh getting in trouble for what Vosh has gotten in trouble for, and he's still retaining a fan base and defenders, it's because Vosh is a, an actually accurate representation of the left. Yes, but it's good. And all of this talk about really inappropriate content involving children, it doesn't really matter because Vosh will continue to tell us that he was only using child porn to make an argument about something else. And uh, it, that's true. He, he was. If you do look at the context of his arguments, the reason he continually brings up child porn, at least in most of the clips, is to say that mining cobalt is also child exploitation and therefore buying a phone is the same thing as having child porn, I guess. Which is, by the way, an argument that I, I don't buy at all. Like, child exploitation is bad either way, but uh, I don't think you have the same kind of uh, direct individual emotional and mental harm from working in a mine that you do from being raped as a kid. Call me crazy on that one. But that is the vector that the yes, but it's good mechanism executes on here. Yeah, Vosh is talking about child porn, but it's good. The fact is though, he was caught on stream with a bunch of lolly, again, cartoon child porn, uh, in a folder on his computer. AI generated lolly, which by the way, everyone who's totally insane is concentrating on that. Like if, if you care about whether the porn in question is AI generated, you are so far uh, removed from how normal people operate that uh, you don't even matter. Also, AI is awesome. Uh, watch Plato is a bitch AI and bomber guy again, coming out on the 24th links in description, but because Vosh has that yes, but it's good thing. This little slip up doesn't really matter. Not to the crazy leftists anyway. Like, yeah, there's going to be some people who say we shouldn't have people like Vosh representing the left. That's bad. They're acting on an impulse that is correct, uh, which is, again, that no normal person would possibly ever even want to talk about any of the crap that Vosh talks about. But again, like, he's just a version of the same ideology they have, which eventually just derails any revolutionary or radical or whatever word you want to use for people who are tired of how things are. It just diffuses that kind of energy amongst a bunch of random shit. Idealism does that too. I, I don't know if you've ever seen Vosh make a hypothetical to explain some high-minded concept he's got. That shit is such a huge waste of energy. And the dueling intra-left fandoms that end up having arguments over this, uh, they're doing exactly that. They're diffusing the energy that people have over how things are not good in the world uh, over this. Yeah, it's not bad to know what's going on and kind of understand your own viewpoints on it. I certainly am attempting to do that myself. But it's kind of like what happens when somebody goes and takes a shit in the middle of the floor. There's now a, a shit in the middle of the floor that you have to clean up. Big old stinky turd just sitting there. You can't just ignore it once they've taken the shit. Uh, otherwise, what's wrong with you? And that's why it is actually important to try to unwind uh, the various culture war shit in a manner that demonstrates how it goes back to justifying ideology. You have to at least address it, and to address it, you have to understand it. But basically, Vosh sucks. Vosh is an example of how leftism is a pro-capitalist ideology, both in the way that he spends a lot of his time defending state positions, and even in this situation has said, well, I, I can't let this bother me. I, I have to get Biden elected. As if you, cunt face, hexagon glasses bitch, 
have that much effect on the world. Shut the fuck up. Go jack off to a video of a cartoon horse fucking kids, why don't you? These people think that they have the ability to dictate the flow of history. They don't. That is an example of the more overt ways that he directs people back towards capitalism. That and supporting basically every capitalist state position. Just repeating anything that is propagandistically said to undermine uh, any socialist country or even just vaguely not American imperialist country. But then there's the less overt ways, the probably unintentional ways, uh, which is the idealism dictating of an end game and talking about getting to that point. You're never going to get to that point ever. And everyone that you tell that that point is the end game is going to eventually become disappointed by you and disillusioned. I generally take it as something that they don't do on purpose. Uh, all of these bread types. If it is on purpose, I don't give a shit. It's the same result one way or the other. If they think they're actually anti-capitalist or they're cynically saying they're anti-capitalist in order to rake in the cash or the CIA hired them or, or what, what fucking ever reason it could possibly be, I don't care. That's going to be what I try to investigate with the horseshoe theory doc. And, and that's, I think a good reason to talk about it. A good reason to talk about Plato is a bitch AI and bomber guy as well, because uh, it came about in a very similar way to the way this is. Um, I think that this Vosh controversy slots right in with the horseshoe theory thesis. And I'm kind of excited to get moving with that. We got to get this one out first though. And you got to watch it when it comes out, right? 24th youtube.com slash very important documentaries or at important D's links in the description. That's all I've got for today. Leave a comment, like subscribe, maybe become a patron. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.